officers and their canine partners from all over the country competed to see who is the top dog. Here we have what we call indoor buildings and it's a schoolroom uh, set up and they go in and there's three rooms that they have to search and they have a time frame that they have to do it in and there's a couple of fines in there and so they tally up all those points uh, to see you know who's the best team. More than 40 officers and dogs competed in Monday's event. Even the home team had dogs that ranked at a national level. Hines County's got four dogs in it that made the, uh, that minimum score to be able to compete in this. And we got a number of dogs from the, the metro area as well. Good boy. Small little group, ours canine, so it's good we stay together, have something like this that we can get a part of, you know, once every year and do, so it's pretty cool. Man and dog working cohesively to accomplish one goal. Those handlers build such a bond and such a closeness where they know where he, they know exactly what the other one is thinking all the time. You got to have a very good relationship with your dog. Um, it's something that you have to trust your dog, um, but it's also a very go good to tool to have, not only for you, for your department. Truly a man's best friend. What I always tell people is he's the greatest partner ever. He eats wherever I want to eat. He goes wherever I want to go, and I don't hear anything back from him, and he, all he wants to do is work. In Jackson, Michael Chambers, JSU-TV.